who says YouTubers get all of the updates from Tesla first? Well, we finally got FSD 14.2.1 and we want to try it out. For those of you new to the channel, I'm Anton, a power engineer, industrial mechanic, and a Red Seal electrician. We cover all kinds of products and topics in an approachable way for the average everyday person. I'm glad you found us. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. I've seen other YouTubers who are much more famous than us have already got 14.2.1 and finally, last night, we got it too. Unfortunately, we're in the middle of a snowstorm right now and I thought maybe this is actually a great time to test out 14.2.1 and all of its new features. So what exactly does this update include? Let's see. Here we are with the update notes. So you can see 14.2.1 right there. And it says upgraded the neural network vision encoder, leveraging highway resolution features. Oh, higher resolution features to further improve scenarios like handling, emergency vehicles, obstacles on the road, and human gestures. Uh, you can adjust your arrival points. You can add uh, it adds handling to pull over and yield for emergency vehicles, navigation while you're routing, additional speed profile to further customize driving style preference. Now that's what gets me the most interested because I tried FSD when we first got this Tesla pretty much a year ago and it scared the crap out of me. In fact, I don't trust it at all. Many of you guys who own a Tesla, use a Tesla, and especially use FSD, you're probably laughing at me because in time, I'm sure you've decided it's probably pretty safe. But I found that all of the driver profiles were just way too aggressive. It was always swerving in and out of traffic, swapping to lanes that I would never pick myself. Plus, I could see so much further ahead than the FSD was looking, so I could tell it was making really bad lane position choices. So I wanna know, is it any better? And the first thing that interests me, I'm gonna show you. Now, if we look right here, we've got speed profiles. Now they say that we've got more of them. So if I open this up, we've got the standard ones here. We've got, oh, it went away. We've got chill, we've got standard, and we've got hurry. Those are the three that you know. We've also now got Mad Max mode, which if, if hurry scared you, I don't even want to know what Mad Max does. But I'm interested more in this one, sloth mode. I think sloth mode might be my kind of style. Now, I haven't used FSD much, so I couldn't tell you exactly what's new and what's not new. All I know is FSD used to scare me to death. And now I want to know, does it still scare me to death? In a snowstorm. Let's see. This is a test of this tel Tesla full self-driving in the snow. It's um, quite unnerving, but let's see how it does. signaling to say we're going to turn now it's very slippery out snow covered roads ice i do have it on sloth mode because fsd scares the crap out of me in the first place it's uh it's going to turn on our red there we go it did make a safe left turn on a red There's a pedestrian that's not stopping for the pedestrian. Well, it stopped, but it didn't stop and wait for them to get all the way across the road. Now 
Now it's on a side road covered in snow. There's a parked car up there. Obviously it's going to see the parked car. And it's telling me I have arrived at home. Now where is it going to park? At my house. I haven't set up any of the settings, so I don't know where it's going to try to go. I think it's just going to stop and say you're home. So that's my house there. Um, okay, so it's parking in front of my neighbor's house. Now here we are backed into the garage where it's safe again. And I have to say, first off, with the slippery conditions, like it is slick out there. I've got proper winter tires on my car, so I'm not worried too much about traction, but I am surprised that the car doesn't seem to care that the roads are white. In fact, it's driving still in sloth mode a little faster than I personally am comfortable for. If I was driving myself, I would have been going slower than what it was. So it seemed determined to get up to the set speed limit, no matter what the road conditions are. That's a little bit concerning for me. But I do have to say, in my limited testing, uh, the best way to describe it before was it was like if you gave a 14 year old their license and then just gave them a 500 a 500 horsepower car and said well you're licensed to drive might as well go for it and just the terror that comes from trusting that 14 year old to make all the right decisions in all the right places it's very scary and the tesla is no different it's very very scary for me so i will say in sloth mode it is less scary. I'm actually pretty comfortable with what it did out there, even though it was driving faster than I think it should have for the conditions. Now, I know most of you should not be using FSD in adverse conditions, especially when it's snowy and slippery. So this shouldn't be a big issue, but I wanted to see. This was the purpose of the test. So in a bad conditions, what does it do? It doesn't seem to care. As the roads clear up, I can test it again, but I just wanted to get this out because I'm sure a lot of you have questions. Some of you who don't have that FSD update yet, you might be wondering as well, what's it like? Well, it's better. I have to say it's better all around in the testing I've done so far. And if we look here, it says 28% of my driving so far has been FSD since the update to 14.2. So we've done a good 30% of our driving and that represents we've driven 233 kilometers since it updated. 65 of those kilometers have been FSD. Now some of that was the test that you just saw right now, but some of it was also uh, testing driving to work on the highway, merging on and off, and it worked quite beautifully. Now we got a lot of cool stuff going on with our Tesla. So if you like this video, check out our other videos because we've got tons of accessories and all kinds of really cool gadgets for a Tesla, trying to make it a more practical car because that's half the fun of owning a Tesla is making it better through aftermarket add-ons. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.